Hoping Lugo can finish off Judge and the Yankees in the first, but a line drive that's speared by Witt. Well, one MVP quality player robs another. Judge hit it right on the nose, and Witt, a gold glover, went up to snare it. Stanton hits one well in the gap at left center field, and that's going to get down. Soto heading for third and being waved home. The peg to the plate is late. It's an RBI double for Stanton, who pumps his fist as he arrives at second base, and the Yanks jump in front, 1-0. One, one Yankee who has got good postseason numbers is Giancarlo Stanton. That ball was a one-iron off the left center field wall. It was just whether it was high enough to get out of the ballpark. It's on the bottom of the wall, and Soto hustles in for the first run. Hit right on the nose, Soto in pursuit, dives and it gets by him. It's going to tie the game. Isbell comes home, Massey around second, looking for a triple. And he's in there. Massey scorches one that Soto might have done better to play in front of him. Lunged for it, it got by him. The game is tied. Guess who's at the ballpark? Patrick Mahomes whooping it up. Happier still after the triple from Massey. Superstar quarterback of the 5-0 Super Bowl champion Chiefs <laughs> who won here on Monday night against the Saints. And in case you didn't know, he owns a 1% stake in the Royals. Soto runs on the 3-2 pitch. Did Judge check his swing? He did not. They punch him out. A lip reader's delight as you look at Aaron Boone. Aaron Judge strikes out. High fly ball, deep left field. Back goes Melendez. Forget about it. It's gone. In large part, this night has belonged to Giancarlo Stanton. And he gives the Yankees the lead, 3-2 in the eighth. That was the third spinning breaking ball in a row from Bubic. And Stanton measured one. One more look. Just know when he covers it, it's going to be out of the ballpark. Huge pitch coming. And Soto drives it to right center field. It'll score at least a run. Catch made by Isbell. Volpe tags. Scores the Yankees' second run. Cabrera scoots the third. Torres holds first. Maybe one of the most difficult batters in all the game to face in that kind of situation. He does not chase bad pitches. Very rarely hits the ball on the ground. And he comes through with the sack fly. Line drive, base hit the center field. It was smothered out there. I don't know if it was caught. It was caught. Oh, my gosh. What a play. It's a good thing that Witt saw it before I did. <laughs> he slammed on the brakes and went back. Well, it looked off the bat like it was going to be a line drive to center, but it was off the end of the bat. So it kind of fluttered out there and gave Volpe enough time to get on it. <laughs> Here's Tommy Pham. First pitch, bouncing to short. Volpe backs up, throws, and that's that. Weaver locks it down, and now Bobby Witt and the Royals are faced with having to win two games, one against Garrett Cole here tomorrow night, and then go to Yankee Stadium and win on the Yankees' home field in order to move on to the LCS. I mean, four and two-thirds sharp innings from Clark Schmidt, and then four and a third great innings by Holmes, Canely, and then Weaver. Stanton runs. How about this? Stanton steals second. They fell asleep on him. And I guess he could almost sleepwalk into second base. Stanton at second with his first stolen base of this year. In fact, his first in four years. Frazier takes off. 3-2 pitch. Hit down the left field line. And it's a fair ball right against the wall. An RBI double for Isbell. That ball appeared to be slicing toward foul territory, but it stayed in play, an RBI double, and it's a 2-1 game. Frazier running on the pitch, 3-2 with two outs, 
No chance for the Yankees to make a play at the plate. 